Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a donut wrap and I'm going to use the same donuts that I used in my previous video with the donut bags. However, these you don't have to take out of the original wrapping. So that is kind of why I decided to do this because I hate taking things out of their original wrapping. So I will go ahead and get to the measurements and then we will get to assembling. So moving on to my measurements, I'm going to make this seven inches wide by 6.75 inches high. I'm going to add in another square and then I will make that seven inches by three inches. So now I'm gonna go here and I will make this into a print and make it into a pattern. I'm gonna take a circle and click the unlock. I want to just basically move it up some, kind of like this. Make this about 1.5. So now what I'm going to do is I will hide this. I'm gonna make sure this is center. Okay, and now I'm gonna slice. I'm gonna remove that piece that I don't need. I will add this back and hide this part. I'm going to make sure this is in the center. And then I will slice. I will remove this piece that I don't need and then hide this in case I need it for later. So now what I'm going to do is enter my text. So now I'm going to select the two together and flatten and I will go ahead and print these. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send my print through the Xyron machine. It's gonna go face up because I want the adhesive to be on the back side. So this is permanent adhesive that I'm adding to it. So this one that I'm doing is with uh, brochure paper. Okay, so I'm just kind of sticking that right in the middle just so you can see the donuts, the four donuts that are in there. And then now I will attach this side piece together. The reason why I decided to do this with my Xyron is because looking at this one that I had previously done, you can see here that um, I use my tape gun and these, you know, are kind of like unstable on there. So I figure using the Xyron would help that out and, you know, make it not stick up so much. It would lay a little bit more flat to the um, donuts. So that is why I decided to try it with my Xyron, which does make it pretty easy. So 
I'm just flattening that together. And this is permanent adhesive. You can even get the um, semi-permanent. I will crimp this. And then crimp this side. And then trim this off. So this is the end result. This one is brochure paper, which I will say I like a whole lot better. It's more stable and sturdy, although it is a little tighter. Um, you know, I, I do still like it. You can probably even make those measurements uh, about maybe a, a half an inch to a quarter of an inch more and then just trim off what you don't need. Um, so you can always adjust that. The presentation paper I did uh, trim off a lot more because it is more flexible. Um, so you can always adjust these measurements. You could do heart cutouts, you could do square cutouts. You know, there's so many different things that you can do with this particular um, cutout theme. You don't have to stick to the circle or the square. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.